Hey everybody, thanks for coming by the channel today to watch yet another truck video. Aren't you feeling great? I, I know I sure am. I went for a haircut earlier this week, just cut her right down. It's nice to finally get back to doing some normal things like going for a haircut and sitting on a patio earlier this week and going for, for lunch with a customer. Just lots of ni nice things to be thankful for. So. I'm glad things are kind of getting back to normal a little bit. Uh, so today we're going to look at something that I haven't normally shown, but we're going to kind of go back to it. I haven't done a video on a truck like this in quite a while. So let's roll the intro and I'll show you what we're going to take a look at. It's a beautiful day outside here. Gotta love it. So today, what we're looking at, like I said, it's something that we haven't seen in a little while. I haven't done a review on one of these in probably over half a year. So let's take a peek. It is a T800 day cab. Extended day cab, actually. So let's uh, throw the keys right there we'll leave them in there and uh let's uh, take a peek at this spec here i'll tell you guys all about it so this is what we carry in stock it would be classified as our heavy spec uh low bed gravel grain farm t800 for uh all of those applications or whatever you choose long haul really probably not anyhow uh what we got going on here it's a 2020 T800 standard hood. It's got a 14.6 front axle on here and it's got 46,000 pound rear ends. Uh, we have the 46 uh, AG460 suspension on it with uh, 11R24.5 rubber. Uh, fuel capacity here on this side, we have 100 gallons. Same thing on the other. We put the seven inch straps you got quite a bit of room here. If you wanted to put a smaller uh, uh, hydraulic tank or a toolbox, you have some space there. And you got lots of room up on the frame here if you wanted to put an upright uh, hydraulic tank, like a 75 gallon for doing triaxle dump or uh, uh, low bedding or whatever. Batteries are right here with the battery disconnect switches. It's a 205 inch wheelbase is what we got going on. Factory supplied fifth wheel ramps right here. Uh, these are the Dana Spicer, the D46 170s uh, with full four way locking differentials. Gearing is 391s. And like I said, on 24.5 rubber, we've got a 24 inch slide fifth wheel. It's a uh, 8.9 inch ride height as far as the saddle goes. Got the rubber fender lips on it just to kind of give it that mean stance. And before we open up the hood, let's take a look up top. So up top we have the factory supplied uh, stainless visor, the marker lights, air horns, and the beacons with the seven inch tailpipes, which just looks really cool. Uh, dual exhaust, dual air cleaners. These are the 13 inch air, air breathers. And we got the lights for the load lights up on the mirror brackets. <coughs> it's very sunny out. Big heavy duty tow pin. What we got under the hood here is the Packard 510 1850 torque rated engine. We do have other specs of this exact same truck with the Cummins, so you have choice. If you want Packard, if you want a Cummins, we have both. Uh, that's just what we're looking at. We gotta clean it up a little bit under here, but it is a brand new truck. We got the uh, boost terminals, remote lube right there, your air fill to top up the air system on the truck, air ride cab, uh, air suspension, air seat, etc. You got your fuel water separator right there. And then uh, up here is your oil check, your oil fill, power steering, washer fluid, 
Up here is your fuses circuits for the truck. We've got a few other in behind the dash as well. Take a peek around the other side. Uh, you got the hot side here, the turbo, got your centrifugal spinner and your oil spinner uh, and your oil filter, rad coolant filter, and uh, there's your coolant tank reservoir. So you can see here, we got a shifter coming out of the top of that transmission. So this is an 18 speed manual transmission. So let's uh, close up the hood here and take a peek on the inside. I'm going for a new angle here. I hope this doesn't fall off. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. All right. Okay, she stayed, so that's good. That's good. All right, so let's uh, take a look across the dash here and see how we set this up. Uh, we got the power package, so we got the power windows, lift controls, etc. Uh, we have the gauge package right here. Man, it's dusty in here. Whew. Ah, that stupid window is cracked just a hair. Look at that. Ooh, we got to clean this truck up. Work to do next week. Anyhow, uh, <laughs> so we got their gauges here, more gauges, and we order it with a full gauge package all the way across here, as you can see. Uh, we have trailer spare marker switches here. So uh, the secondary trailer cord, if you wanted to run uh, power to your trailer through secondary cord, your J560 uh, cord or your ISO 3137, I believe they are. Uh, so that's what those guys are right there. Factory PTO switch, air slide fifth wheel. There's your hazards, your jakes, your crews, air suspension dump, and then your lockers, uh, the four-way four locker right there. Uh, we have the Bluetooth Sirius XM radio. And then uh, there's your headlights and your clearance lights, etc. all right there. Ordered in the black interior color. So you got the really nice uh, Splendor interior. And with that extended cab, you can see here, it gives you that extra storage right below. So it also has a rear window with a slider. So that's a nice option. If you wanted to, uh, you know, have a little bit more air circulating throughout the cab, you can do that. And uh, yeah, leather wrap steering wheel. And that's a little bit about the interior. Wow, we are cruising through this spec here. All right, so thanks for coming by to watch this video today. Uh, I will be putting a used truck up next week, so stay tuned for that. If you want to see what we have for inventory for used and new trucks, you can click the link up in the top corner here, which takes you to the kenworthguy.com, and you can give me a shout, give me an email, send me a DM if you want, and I will get back to you with uh, your question uh, regarding whatever you're asking. So. 
Thanks for coming by. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please do that. You can click on the uh, link in the bottom corner here and I'll be uh, really saying thank you for subscribing. If you want to get notified, click off that bell. All those things that people on YouTube ask you to do. So make sure you do it. It means a lot. I sure appreciate it. So thanks for coming by. And as always, have yourself the world's best day.